everybody, welcome to the channel. This is Skull Gamer here, and we're with um, F1 Manager 2022. So, we decided to do a Mercedes save because every time I've been playing the game, no matter who I've been, Mercedes don't seem to be the very dominant force, which is quite surprising when you think they've got the likes of Lewis Hamilton, seven time world champion, George Russell, who was also a great driver, yeah. So I've done a few changes. I brought in Oscar as our test driver because he's one of the best youngsters in the game. Staff, I brought in Red Bull's uh, Pierre yeah, as our new technical director. And Enrico Balbal as our new um, head of um, aerodynamics. Other than that, everything else is pretty much exactly the same. Haven't changed anything else. I've got plenty of scouts and stuff. Pit crew, yeah, they're doing alright. So... Yeah, that's all. That's all changed. We got a couple of new staff. Nothing major. Uh, I've already set up parts for the car. They're being built as well as we speak. Got um, yeah, an underfloor and a new sashi being done. So that's going to help improve the car as we go forward. Um, bull confidence is low. They expect us to come further above, which is not the most difficult. And we're being two seasons to be um, winning the constructors' championship, which is also not that that hard to do it. The only thing I couldn't get is for some reason I can't get Lewis Hamilton to sign a new contract with me. He was interested, but actually doesn't seem to want to take any length of contract. So he could be going, who knows? And if he does, then uh, we got the likes of um, Verstappen, Nori, or um, Charles uh, Lacanini coming in. One of them will do nicely. Probably Nori would probably be the better option and keep it to a set of British drivers, but. We'll see what happens if Lewis Hamilton signs a contract. We'll see what happens, yeah? But to start with, we're going to crack on with today's episode. And we're going to get to the race. Dun, 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 dun. Obligate. Yeah, we'll do a party. We don't mind. I've got all the bits being built that we need. And new guys are here. So, yep, yep, yep. It's all good. Did a few improvements to, um, I say, bits like staffing, staffing and um, facilities and stuff. Then have some of that money that we get. The good thing is we wasn't spending a fortune on everything else because hey, so my saves we've done all sorts. We've um, brought new drivers in, new everything. Yeah. My view targets. I'm not going to promise anything, even though it would be nice, but that's not. Do, 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 do. Power circuit, there we go. Right, so car. Car change. Put on both cars. I take it we've already, yeah, you've already got the. So it's not the most powerful, it's the weakest of the engines. This is probably what. But hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens then. Yeah, the powertrain, the gearbox, few manufacturers again. Hmm, interesting. I've not actually really looked at these before. But I guess we might be able to change. Oh, see, so you can see what they're like in different areas. Okay, that's cool. All right, so the cars are ready. We're ready. Let's go racing. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. So hopefully we can, um, well, we're going to have to do well. We're going to have to come at least third anyway. We know that. Off we go, off we go, off we go. So, 
for free practice in that. I'm gonna be not doing any of the practice this time. We're just gonna get get going to qualifying. Yeah, I know we list, missed out on the performance and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's cool. So we got fifth and eighth. Let's see behind them, and when we got bits like that in front of us. Do you know what? I'm gonna let them qualify it as well. We're gonna be really cheeky. We're just gonna concentrate mainly on the rates and hopefully we can perform miracles on that and get our cars back up where they belong. Gee, outperformed by a Alfa Romeo. Mm. Okay then, so we we're gonna have to seriously um Doesn't look very light, does it? I went about it. Okay, let's do this. I reckon we're gonna do all right. And they both look good. I want you guys to push, 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 push straight from the start. Let's go for it. Hopefully, we're in for a bit of a treat and it's going to go well. Let's hope so. And this is it. The Bahrain Grand Prix. There they are. The silver bullets as they call it. And away we go. Overtake the press. Overtake the press. Okay. Oh, look at this. So everyone Mayo in front. Come on, Hamilton, you can do this. Oh, Daddy took over Goslin. Come on, is he gonna take him? He's proper going for it. Go on, Hamilton. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Oh, no. I thought you had him. Oh, we do now. Back of that red ball now. Can we actually make these things go? So, should we speed it up a little bit? 
Right, so we got past Barra above him. Right, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hamilton's hitting some hard laps. Hamilton's in first. This is what we're talking about. And Russell's come up to second. Jesus Christ, we're going. We're going some. So we got 10 and 12 laps before we pit. So we got to watch these tires as well, yeah? See, this is where we belong. Out the front. Owning this. Pulling away. I think the strategy is that you just push all the way through. Nine times out of ten, you're okay. Pit window in six laps. Not going too bad. Not going too bad at all. We picked up over ten seconds over Russell for Hamilton. I'm over um, Vettel, sorry. Verstappen as well, but get it. Oh my god. We know who we're talking about. I'm sure we do. Somewhere along the line. We are putting away with a very, very big lead now. It's quite amazing. But hopefully, fingers crossed, if we get the um, white little bits, we'll be fine, yeah? So, put windows activated for him now, so that's all good. Surprising, he's still got a bit of grip left on them things as well. Pen penetry, yep, yeah, we know, we know, we know. Tires are just gone. That's cool, it's going well, going well. Alright, let's bring, let's bring him in, let's bring him in. No, he's already coming in. I'm gonna bring Hamilton in shortly as well. See, he's going on to mediums. Boom. I thought we were doing Grand Prix, but he's saying boxing, so it's all good. It goes in the pits. See, this is going really well. I can't complain. We're doing pretty damn good. Right, let's go on a bit further. Let's see how we do. See if Hamlin is actually going to catch Russell, which it looks is doing so. I think there's been a lock up. As long as we can manage the tires and stuff, I think we'll be fine. It's just obviously it's a bit worrying because obviously I'm literally my strategy is to be out there full on. Completely all the way through. Minute. Hamlin's taking the lead, and owns, has the fastest lap going, so that's pretty good. Sounds like someone's locked up. That's when you can do this with Williams. You'll be laughing. Yeah. <laughs> These two are just bobbing around on each other. Quite surprising though, because obviously Russell's still keeping in there. And we're going to bring Howard at him first as well before Russell, so it all depends on how the pits go in that.
Red cars, what the hell? I don't know how the hell we're going so fast compared to the Ferraris and the Red Bull. It's crazy. That hammer is coming in. Russell's uh, 23. He needs his doing as well. Let's go then, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. So Hamlin is now in the lead by five seconds. We got no pits to go. Well, we're gonna win this by a hundred country mile by the looks of it, yeah. No other real surprises other than us. Alpha Romeo are both up there, which is pretty damn good to see. Guzlin just after the main six. So yeah, not too bad. Did you pick up a one two in the first race? Absolutely brilliant. Just trying to save the tires, last couple of laps. See who's happy enough. Good, 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 good race. That's all I'm going to say. Most definitely. Mercedes once again showing why they're one of the biggest names in F1. I agree, this was all fairly impressive, and it's obviously the work of the solid, well run team. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. The team's now 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, there we go. So, all in all, not a bad waste weekend at all. So, one, two, picking up maximum points in the constructors as well. And in the drivers, giving us one, two in that as well. Fastest lap. It's all pretty good, actually. Yeah. He'll pick, as you can see, the growth multipliers are gone. Not as quite as big for him. He is getting a lot older now, so. Average low, yes, yeah, about that's about right as they start getting older and stuff. Uh, driver bonuses were paid out, sponsorship comes in, they're still making money, that's the main thing. But there you go. So, we got the um, Jetto coming up next. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one for the next race. You all take care now. Peace out, people. Bye.